Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and welcome to your reading. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What is going on with my Capricorns at this very moment in time, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see. Okay, we have Banshee, five. Okay, you are going off on somebody. Spider, 37. Feel free to break down the numbers as we go. Coming of winter, 11. Okay, I'm getting, you're, you're coming for everything that you are owed. That's what I immediately got. Over on energy is voices, 42. And you're not playing around. It's like you go in a building, someone owes you money, and you're not leaving till you get it. All right, I'm not encouraging violence or anything, but I'm seeing someone come in, walk into someone's building calmly, take a bat, break out a window, and sit down like this, on look like sit in a chair with their hand on the bat, resting, and you just stare at them. They know why you're there, and they understand that you're not leaving until you get what you want. Now, again, I don't advise that at all, but that's just the energy I'm getting from you. You're not playing with someone, especially with coming of winter, you are expecting something to come at a certain time. You know there's some deceptive shit about it with Spider. You know someone's playing with you. They've done it before. Like they told you they were going to pay you when they didn't before. Or they keep telling you they're going to pay you this week and it doesn't come. Then they say next week. And the next week comes and they say next week. It's like someone's playing with you. You're realizing that. You're tired of it. And you just out of nowhere. I feel like you don't even think about it before you do it. Something just comes over you. You take out a bat, you break someone's window, open the door, you go in, sit down, and you just look at them. I don't even see that you say anything. They just, you both understand that you're not playing. <laughs> but I'm not saying that's what you're literally doing. I'm just saying that's the energy you're bringing to this person. All right, so let's get into the tarot for Capricorn. Of course, I do not advise you messing up someone else's property because then you owe them. All right, message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know at this very moment and time? Capricorn. And someone can even use that against you. Like if you go uh, damage their property because they got you so mad, they could use that for a reason not to pay you. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Yep, a heavy burden coming to rest because you are done playing with somebody. Eight of Swords. You're filling this person with anxiety. That's not you. I feel like your anxiety is coming to rest. If you've been worried about money coming towards you, you will not have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, two of swords. Because someone's been trying to put a temporary hold, knight of cups, and now they're going to apologize. Now someone's going to apologize that knight of cups. Yeah, what you want is coming towards you. Over energy is the ten of pentacles. Yeah, someone has owed you some money, an inheritance, a, a great amount of money. Because I feel like it's been accumulating because they've been holding it for a while. Or they've just owed you a, a big amount of money they've been holding for a while anyway. Don't do anything stupid. Like, I know you're upset, but don't go crazy on them because they're going to use that to not pay you, to hold off on paying you even more. Yeah, with that Ten of Wands, your anxiety is over now. Because someone's been trying to block you on this, you... They are, they're going to apologize. Knight of Cups, they're going to give you exactly what you want. Clarify this. I feel like someone had a hold on your money. It was a hold on releasing it to you. It's like they didn't want to give it to you, even though it was yours. They wanted to check, triple check, double check. They're saying, oh yeah, well, we got to check this now. We got to check this now. We got to check this. Like, bitch, give me my money. Clarify this for Capricorn. <laughs> Clarify this message for Capricorn. Clarify this message for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. They got you messed up. They got me messed up. They got both of us messed up, Capricorn. Let me write this down real quick. I already know what the title is going to be. All right, clarifying the Ten of Wands is the Tower and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're not playing. I don't know exactly what you're going to do, but you're going to show somebody you're not playing. But hopefully you don't damage anyone's property or threaten them because they're going to try to use that. 
clarifying the eight of swords is the six of cups. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is a DNA test. You're uh, finding out you're someone's biological child and you're owed some money, an inheritance, a literal, you know, like an inheritance, a huge amount of money. Now, for others of you, it's just some money that you're owed for some type of work you've done or whatever it is, you're owed some type of money legally. A big amount that's been just sitting there. I feel like some of you is locked in a safe deposit box at the bank. Or you've been owed this since you were a child. Maybe you were owed this at a certain age. But whatever it is, it's coming towards you. I feel like for some of you, it's a creative endeavor. You invested in something. Now it's time to pay up because it was successful. Page of Wands. And it's, it's coming to you. An idea also paid off. You had a business idea or whatever. You're owed a big amount of money for something amazing you did. Or just your inheritance. And it's being given to you. Clarifying the two of swords is the two of wands. Oh my gosh. Right before somebody gives you something, because they can't hold on to this anymore. So right before someone gives you something, they're like, are you sure you want this? Or do you want to take an extra step to put a security deposit here to protect you if anything should happen to your money? And that's going to take you a whole nother month to process. It's like someone keeps trying to put security precautions in front of you so that you can't get your hands on this. And we have the star card, Aquarius, hope and healing. So clarifying the two of swords, that temporary block, it's healed, it's removed. Because I feel like there was a temporary block or ban on something. You had to wait for a few years to get something or you just had to, every, this was locked off for a few years. And on top of that, it had to go through security um, questions or security procedures in order to release this money. But now it's being released, it's being recovered, it's being healed. Things are being um, righted in the situation with the star card. That, that ban is permanently removed with the Two of Swords. People are now seeing and understanding that this money belongs to you legally. And it's being released to you. So this blockage is removed. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the King of Pentacles. There you are. I also feel like a, um, an earth sign could be apologizing to you. Yeah, eight of cups walking away. You don't give a fuck. You take your money out this bank and you're gone. So what I'm getting here is someone deposited a huge amount of money into your bank and your bank did not trust it and did not trust you. So they had to verify with that person a million times, verify with their bank a million times. Then they like, they just didn't trust it. They didn't want to give you your money for whatever reason. Some type of prejudice. And once, and now they're embarrassed because they realize, oh, this money did belong to Capricorn this whole time. Now we look stupid. Now they're trying to do damage control and trying to like hold up before you take the money out because they know as soon as you take it, you're going to leave. But it's like, you like, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Cause I feel like once it's been cleared and it's yours, now they, when you go into the bank, they have a whole different demeanor with you. They're smiling. They're friendly, asking if you want water and all this extra shit. They did not ask you that before. Before, they were increasingly mean to you, standoffish to you, judgmental, prejudice, all that shit. They were saying shady, slick shit. But now they realize it belongs to you and realize who you are. Now they're being extra nice and they're like, would you like to um, set up something um, just in case anything happens to your money that it'll be secured you're like no i'm good because you're about to take your money to somewhere else they know you're about to take the money out of the bank and go somewhere else they're gonna apologize but it's too late you end up walking away yeah you switch banks over on and use the judgment card yeah they cast judgment on you and now you're leaving don't let them know that you're switching banks either just take your money out and move it do not let them know because they're going to try to put another hold on your money so that you can't leave or they're going to try to do things to take your money or spend your money on something. I, I wouldn't let them know what you're doing secretly. Just get your money out of there and go to a different bank or do whatever it is that you can to transfer it somewhere else. And they can't. So these people cannot touch it. I wouldn't even let them know what bank you're going to if you can help it. Like if you're transferring your money to a different bank, I wouldn't do it through them. I would just take the money out in increments or have it removed. I feel like, I don't know how that works, but you could have someone else present, a witness to help you remove your money and not let these people know where you're taking it. Because I feel like they, at first they judged you and assumed it wasn't your money. Then they started to realize it is. Then they want it to be nice and keep you there. Then I feel like they're going to try to put holes on your stuff. 
or try to take your money, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, you owed this institution $20,000. So we took that and gave it to them. If you keep your money in this bank, they're going to take it. The moment it's released to you, the moment they call you in and or call you and they're like, yes, this money is yours. Would you like to put you just like, no. And then you take your money out immediately. As soon as it is released to you, the second it's released to you, take it out immediately because they're going to do some shady shit. All right, final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. All right, we have book, Hope, Ignorance, Revelation. Yeah, just stay calm. Your money's about to be released to you. Don't let them know anything. Let them stay ignorant to this. The moment that money, you get that call or they call you in, the moment it's released to you, take it all out. Don't let them know why. Don't let them know what you're doing. All right. If anything, let just be like it's something you, you've been needing this money anyway for something very important. But you don't have to tell them too much. We have ghosts. Memories would haunt you. Unfinished business, literally. With these people. Also with that Ten of Pentacles inheritance money you were owed anyway. Unfinished business. Milk. Nourishment. Parents. Nostalgia. Yeah, I do feel like this is coming from parents or childhood or trust fund. Like something that was held on to for years up until now. Since you were a kid until now. Or just way in the past. Overall energy is I, seeking answers, seeing clearly, paying attention. Yeah, that's what I get with Banshee. You completely understand the situation now, this institution now. I feel like these people are racist or prejudiced for either classist, either it's because of the way you look, the way you dress or whatever. They're just judging you because this huge amount of money can't possibly be going in your account. But once they realize you um, are wealthy or it's coming from inheritance or who you are, now all of a sudden they want to be nice to you because they want your money. They want to hold on to it. They got plans for your money. Like, ew. Anyway, if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.